A researcher teaches two sets of students for one day, using active learning strategies with the first group and passive learning strategies with the second. The students are then given a test and the number of correct answers are recorded. In this study, the independent variable is and the dependent variable is. Okay, so we have to figure out which is the independent, which is the dependent, and so typically the best way to go find the independent variable is to have a look at what kind of groups you're dealing with. Because once again, the independent variable is where you divide things up into groups. So it's pretty simple here. We've got two sets of students. So we've got active learning strategies with the first group, and we've got passive learning strategies with the second group. So I'll just put um, that it is active learning strategies with the first group and passive learning strategies with the second group. So my independent variable is going to be what kind of strategy. So it would appear that um, we may be dealing with either answer A or answer D. Now the next thing that we have to consider is the dependent variable and the dependent variable is going to be the outcome or what is measured as a result of being in one group or the other. And so um, we are recording, this should say recorded, we're recording the number of correct answers. And so that looks like, um, it looks like A, the number of correct answers and not simply just the test. So the number of correct answers is the right thing for us here. So A is the answer to this question.